Hi everyone. In this video, we're gonna learn about some financial statement analysis and specifically how to analyze your inventory. All right, first up, inventory turnover ratio. Notice the equation down here at the bottom. Inventory, inventory turnover ratio equals the cost of goods sold, an income state number, statement number, divided by average inventory, your beginning plus ending balance sheet inventory divided by two, okay? What does this tell us about a company? If we take the cost of goods sold, an income statement number, and divide it by the average inventory we report on our balance sheet at any given time. Well, it requires you to think about what exactly does cost of goods sold represent. Cost of goods sold is essentially the summation of all of the inventory that you have sold throughout a given period, right? So every sale you make, you're gonna debit cost of goods sold for the value of that inventory. And so you might make a sale at the beginning of the period, a sale in the middle of the period, a few more sales by the end of the period. And every time you make those sales, cost of goods sold is being debited or going up as a result of making those sales. So this is essentially the cumulative total of inventory you've sold during the period. Average inventory on hand, which again, for simplicity, typically in introductory accounting courses, is gonna be beginning inventory plus ending inventory divided by two, that is essentially telling you what is the typical amount of inventory physically that you have on hand. Now, this is valuation, but still, the higher the value, the kind of correlates higher the, the physical amount. And so all we're doing is saying of the typical amount of inventory you have on hand, how much do you sell? Okay. Now, we call this inventory turnover ratio because it's saying, how often do you turn your average amount of inventory over, right? How many times do you take what I'll, what I'll generally refer to as what's in the warehouse, right? Now, when I say what's in the warehouse, I don't mean literally in the warehouse, but I mean in the warehouse, on the trucks, on the sales floors, whatever. But how often do you take the inventory that you have and turn it into a sale? How often do you turn it over? All right, up here, I've got Macy's. I've got their income statement. I've got their balance sheet. If I pull their numbers, ITR equals cost of goods sold. Right here, Macy's calls it cost of sales. I'm just going to do 2019 here. Looks like 15,171. If I look at Macy's balance sheet, I find inventory. They call it merchandise inventory. I have this year's balance. I have last year's balance. So I'm going to take this year's balance, 5188 plus last year's balance, 5263. Apologize, that's a little hard to read. And I'm going to divide those balances by two and put that in parentheses because that's my entire bottom. And now all I have to do is a little bit of math, right? So let's get my calculator. Went too far with it. All right, so first I'm going to solve my bottom. 5188 plus 5263 equals divided by 2. There's my average inventory, 52225. And I'm going to take my top, 15171, divide by my 5225.5. And I'm getting an inventory turnover of 2. Point, I'm just going to round this here, 2.9. All right, what does that tell me about Macy's? Well, that essentially says, if you think about Macy's, they have stores, they have warehouses, they have trucks, they have online shopping, they have whatever, right? When you think about Macy's, what it's saying is that the average inventory that they have on hand at any given time across their entire business, they end up selling that amount of inventory to customers nearly three times throughout the year. When it comes to inventory turnover, higher is better, right? Now, is this good or bad? Well, it's hard to say because we're not figuring out what Macy's turnover was the prior year. We're not figuring out what competitors are, right? We'd have to compare and see how Macy's doing relative to itself, relative to others. But with that said, higher is better. The more you can turn over your inventory, the less risk of obsolescence, um, the, 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 the less risk of um, uh, incurring unnecessary costs related to it, so forth and so on. Okay, so 2.9 is Macy's inventory turnover. Now that's going to tie directly into our next one, days in inventory. If turnover is telling us 
how many times do you sell the average amount of inventory that you hold to investors? Days in inventory is telling us how long does it take you to do it? And for that, we're simply going to divide 365, as in 365 days in a year, divided by the inventory turnover ratio. So for Macy's, days in inventory equals 365 over, we just calculated on the prior slide, 2.9 is their inventory turnover ratio. Get my calculator back out. 365 divided by 2.9, and that comes out to, I'm going to round this to 126. So what does this tell us about Macy's? Well, it says it takes Macy's approximately 126 days to cycle all of its inventory to customers. Then it refills, cycles it again, refills, and nearly cycles it again, right? Almost three cycles. And it takes 126 days on average per cycle. That's what we learned from this. Now, you have to be cautious in interpretation because I'm talking about this like you fill your warehouse, empty it, refill the warehouse. That's not literally what's happening. But conceptually, that's what's going on. Now, literally, inventory is coming and going constantly. But the idea is the average amount you have on hand, you turn it over, in this case, almost three times at a cost of 126 days per time. One last thing to note, whereas uh, inventory turnover, higher is better. Because inventory turnover is the denominator in this ratio, the higher inventory turnover is, the lower days in inventory will be. So in the case of days in inventory, lower is better. Okay? That's it for financial statement analysis of inventory. Hope you found this helpful, and I hope you join me for another video.